To add data into your database in DB Browser, click on the Browse Data tab and then choose which table you wish to put information into. So we're going to go to Students and in Students I'm going to click on the Insert a new record in the current table and this will pop up. So I come into here and I say, right, student ID, I'm going to give it one, first name, and house ID so I say house ID well we've got four houses I know that so I'm going to put two because it needs to refer to the ID number date of birth of 2000 and then co-curricular ID I'm going to say co-curricular ID number one and go save now I've got this error message come up because the foreign key constraint has failed and the reason is because here I've got the house ID and that's fine, but the problem is I haven't put any information in the co-curricular ID table yet. So if I go OK here and cancel on that, and if I show you the information in the co-curricular, you can see there's actually no fields in here. Whereas the house one does actually have the fields. So the problem is that it requires a field to be filled. So you make sure that when you're adding data, you need to start with those tables which actually have no foreign keys and you need to make sure that before you enter into a particular um, table that all the relevant foreign keys have already been put into um, the other tables. So I'm coming to here and I'm going to say co-curricular and I'm going to add one, click here and it's popped up. This is another way it can pop up this way sometimes. Table one, activity name is robotics. Okay, I'm happy with that. So. I'm going to come back to um, my student now and now I should be able to if I say add it pops up student ID is number one first name Damien second name Murta I'm just pressing tab to move between each of these house ID I'm in house number one date of birth 13th of 4th 2004 um, 2000 and counter ID I can now say one if I go save that's actually now been entered because all of my foreign keys actually have relevant values in the other tables, in their home tables. So that's how you add data to tables.